What is up guys, we're here with webisode number two. I'm so excited to get this video going. Uh, today we're gonna be doing the little thing I like to call wader adventures. And so what we're gonna be do is we're gonna go get in the water in our waders and we're gonna find people's lures that they've hung up and can't return. So it should be a really good video today. We've done this a few times here, so it might be a little burnt out. Um, we're just gonna, you know, kind of go around and see what we can find and hopefully we can find some good stuff. We usually find pretty good pretty good things some some of it's just trash as as you can obviously tell but you know we'll we're gonna throw on the GoPro and the waiters and we'll be out here in a minute we'll see you then all right guys we have the GoPro on I know you can't see me it might be a little weird well, I am I do have the head mount on right so here. oh god Pierce is already about to get in last time we came here or we did this uh, Pierce decided that he was gonna fall in three times so <laughs> I guess I don't have much to say. I've fallen in once before, but it's a little chilly. yeah, it is a little chilly. Oh, oh God, it is a little chilly and a wee bit nippy. Colton, if you're watching, you'll get that one. Oh, well, the first find, a nice note, zero trespass. Actually, I don't see anything. So trespassing, yeah, trespassing. private property only. No, private. Huh. Private property. All right, first, first find of the day, bobber. Gonna get that off here. Put that up there. I think that on the other side, I do see a topwater frog over there. So, might. Uh oh. There's a drop off right there. There's a drop off right there. Wait. String. A few bobbers. String. Some str oh, that's a hole. Got some string right here. Pierce has got the good find of the day already with some string. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna bet that signs. Oh, well, you're about, a, about like 10 more inches, you're going under. Yeah, I know. It's just getting deeper and deeper. Oh, that's a stump. Trace yeah, oh, there's a here. frog way up there. Where at? Uh, see, it's the. Uh, uh, Where? It's way up there. See that dead branch? Jeez, it is. Oh, wow, look at. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a frog hanging all the way up there. Uh, we have to get that. That is going to be perfect. We've got to get that somehow. It is in it. It's in our right shape, too. A good color. Well, <laughs> yes. considering this is a tree with thorns. Uh. Oh, maybe we can just uh, chop it down. I don't know. We'll find a way to get that. Throw me. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go a little bit further this way. Yeah, you won't be able to go much further. We'll get pretty deep. Oh, really? All right, Pierce frog. almost fell in already. We're gonna try and get this frog up here. That's gonna be the most impossible thing. It is probably 10 frog feet barber. out of the ground, or in the tree, I should say. Don't worry about it, I'm a ninja. Yeah, I don't know how good of a ninja you are on waders. Yeah, I don't know how. Don't know how well that's going Don't for you. Have much flexibility. I think we actually might be able to get this. Let's see. Is it on this tree or is it on this higher one up here? I think it's on this one. Cause look at the leaves. You want to come back to it? Do not poke a hole in your waders. You're the king of that. It's happened before. Pierce has about ten holes in his waders, and if you guys can tell. This is duct tape, holding Pierce's shoe on there, so. Oh! Yeah, I think we ought to, I don't know if we're gonna get this. Don't worry about it. It's on that oh, tree. It. Yeah. It's on this branch. Pierce is up in the tree. What is happening? Uh, wait, wait. Keep doing that, keep doing that. Is it fall? Maybe, it's on some line, but. I wonder where that line falls to. Well, there's also a nice little uh, fluke or a uh, worm hook on it. Ah, uh, it's sharp. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that unless you can. It's that one right there. Can you break that off or cut that with your knife? Uh. Oh god! Oh. Climbing a thorny tree with a knife in your mouth. Sometime today, if Pierce gets his frog down, we'll be able to have a nice first frog for today on our uh, waders adventures. 
All right, so update. Pierce has almost got this branch down. Think just a little more and we might have it. I think he also said that there's a spinner bait on it too, so maybe a bonus. But geez, the things we do for a topwater frog. When the wind blows. Work it. You don't see how fast my arm is moving. Get her done. You can tell Pierce is about, his feet are about 10 feet off the ground. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but oh, his- Oh, there we go. Oh, sounds like he got it. Hold on, push it down, push it down. Ow! <laughs> push it down. No, don't, okay, don't move it. Stay right there. There's a hook right on the end of this. We got it. Take the whole branch. We got it. We got it, guys. Check this out. No way. This thing is gnarly. Look at this frog. Not in the best of conditions. Oh, they got really lucky. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that swivel is open. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off with my nail clippers. I think I deserve it. Yeah, I think you deserve this one. That was a well-fought battle against a tree. Pierce versus nature. Maybe we should make a series like that. <laughs> Almost falls in. Nice little frog here. It's in pretty good condition, actually. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's been sitting up there. Maybe for a little while. Maybe a few weeks. Here's your spinner. That looks nice. Carry also up. got Pierce's favorite thing, a swivel. Also on another, another find, we got another hook. Usually made for a fluke. Also yeah. equipped with a swivel. And it looks like a spinner bait. The same one we found a few few weeks ago when we were here. I feel like I'm gonna drop it for some reason. Yeah, here, let me. It's growing me, into the tree. Here, I got this. I got I got clippers. Almost drops a knife. Nice little hook. Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> well. Maybe the tree caught it. <laughs> well, there goes there goes to show you my luck. Oh, Good night. I even there we go. We got it out. Let's check this tree for any more Here, objects. Take it out of the water? No, I think we're good. We can drop back in. Look at that snake skin. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. There is a snake skin. How long is that? In the tree. Look at this. That's, this is insane. Cool. I'm going to drop this okay, here because okay. this could be a nice ecosystem for some fish. An eco wait, wait. Let's drop it further. All right. So here we are at the next spot. It's just a little bit further down. We were right over there. Uh, in the last clip and so now we're gonna either try and go in here a big perch right there. it was very oh, it was, it was some nice sized perch it was very sketchy coming across this last time we were here and so i'm not looking forward to going across this because we almost went in if i remember yeah it's, it's so like, it's a very quick drop off i mean there right there in front of us it goes all the way down to probably probably pierce's waist so oh god yeah, that. That waist, I'm sinking. <laughs> <laughs> and some quicksand, it looks like, also. Oh. Come on. Nothing up here. Let's see if Granny's got any groceries for us. Oh, oh gosh. Sinking. One of the first few times we came here, we found this. Yeah, I got hung up on it. Because Pierce got hung up on it, so he decided to go into the water, take a swim, and get his bait back. That's commitment right there. You could restring a whole pole with that line. There we go, little craw. Little craw, been sitting there for a little while. It's a little swollen. Not in the best condition, although that hook might be pretty useful. Here, I'll get you with the... I just don't trust you anymore since you dropped that one. Yeah, you can hold it. I'm excited to see what that white thing is down there. Maybe it's a popper, maybe it's a... A leaf. It's probably a leaf. I hope it's not a leaf. I hope it's a nice white frog. We're probably gonna walk right past it and not even see it. <laughs> With our oh, luck. Oh yeah. Wait, hold on. What is it? <laughs> it looks like it's like a pill bottle. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh. All the hype for Want some, an energy an shot. energy shot? It's not even five hour energy. Gosh, what a letdown. Alright guys, we just made it back to the truck. This spot was not nearly as good as it usually is. But we're going to go ahead and look over what, what we got. Just explain it a little bit. And then I think we're going to try and head to spot number two. We're kind of running out of daylight. As you can see, it's getting a little bit darker outside. The sun's not really behind me. It's getting kind of cloudy. But uh, we're going to go over what we found. And then we'll head to spot number two. So I'll see. Let's see what we found. 
All right, so we didn't find much today, but as you can see, we found a little bit. We found two of my favorite uh, fishing accessories, swivels. Pearson is swivels. You Love swivels. It. We also found a nice hook to go with them. Actually, two hooks. Um, we got this nice, uh, nice frog here that I worked for for a while. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. You, you, you can use a little bit of cleaning up. Hooks are still good, so yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I could use a little clean up. And this uh, crawfish here, it's not the best. I can't tell if that's just from the water or if it was, if that's like on purposeful that texture. But I think we could probably use it if we absolutely need it. But yeah, it's still in pretty good shape. I'm missing a leg there, but yeah, that's about it. Five leg crawdad. So basically. Oh, this swivel's trash, it's bent. Baby, lay on back and relax. Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. No need to go nowhere fast. Let's enjoy right here where we at. Who knows where this road is supposed to lead? We got nothing but time. All right, guys, so we just made it to spot number two. Um, there's nobody fishing here. I mean, nobody, so. At least we won't be causing a disturbance to people. And uh, this is a very, very good place to get hung up. We did clear a lot of it out last time though. So it's just, it might not be as good as it usually is. But uh, you know, I'm excited to get down here and see because we haven't been here in a little while. So, you know, there might be, there might be quite a few as Pierce almost falls in already. Hey, look, look, it's this, because of this. Right this here. is the look. spot last time where Pierce fell in three times in the same day. He had water all the way up to his nipples in, in his waders. I, so I still wasn't even touching that, the bottom. Yeah, and was he wasn't even touching the head. bottom. There's a one spot that is very, very deep. Oh, here we go, right here. We probably won't be able to get to it. Um, maybe we'll bring a kayak out here or something next time and Look how big those try and get it are. out. There are some huge acorns here, man. Yeah, I'll try and get one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the GoPro on because it's getting kind of dark pretty fast. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. All right, we are here and it is looking very, very promising already. I don't know if we'll be able to get to most of this stuff because like I said, it gets very deep, very fast here. So uh, and depending on how long we've got. Yeah, I know it's very deep. Oh already almost sliding in the bottom is just rocks yeah i think this is gonna be <laughs> rest in peace pierce's shoe oh man this is sketchy i got a little ledge going <laughs> well pierce is working on those i don't see much over there so i'm gonna kind of come down here and see if i can find anything i do see some more bobbers unfortunately that is what most people fish here with bobbers and i guess I guess whatever they use, I don't really know. That tree is just hanging out of the water. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to go in. Oh my, oh my, oh. I think it's pretty flat here. Oh, I do not want to fall in. This water is freezing. Pierce has just found his favorite thing, a swivel. Go and he tried to make a duct tape sandal for it. Aye. Right, here's a drop off. It's getting pretty dark, so we might not have, we <laughs> no, might not be able to find much more oh, as Pierce falls in almost. Oh. Just sinks in the mud. I'm very sketched to go down this. You can't even break through, there's so much, so many veggies. In the produce section. In the produce section of this. So I don't know how much footage we're gonna get after this. We did not find as much as we usually do. Oh, oh here. No, no. Don't, don't so we got lead weight. Oh god. Don't even. Oh I'm just slowly sinking right here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> My shoe came off. <laughs> my shoe came off. My arm is my arm is soaked. I don't know how I didn't just fall in there. Oh God! 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. <laughs> Bad idea. Bad idea. I'm stuck. I'm gonna need help. I'm literally every time every time I push my foot down the other one gets stuck and I can't pull it out okay. and then should my shoe save you or should I save myself save yourself break this Pierce, that was my insurance Let's step on it <laughs> step on it you missed <laughs> ah step right there step on this it'll be like a Pierce, I can't get out of here <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Stay on the branch. We did it. Man. Look at that. I love. Oh, Jeez. That was very scary. I was so scared. I definitely felt like I was going in in that moment. Multiple times. I don't know how I got out unscathed. Alright, how did we cross? We crossed right here? Yeah, I think we kind of went a little to your right, though. Man, I'm glad we are through that. Whoa. Oh, and Pierce goes in. Go oh, he goes in and he's wet. He's wet. Pierce has Pierce has officially gone in. Oh no. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, slowly running. So we're heading back now it's gonna be dark so this is probably gonna be the end of the video uh thank you guys for watching i mean i hope you enjoyed what you saw not the best waiters adventures for the first one but it'll be, it'll be a lot better next definitely time. definitely all right if i wouldn't have dropped that uh that spinner bait in the water that it might have been a little better but uh we got that frog. yeah we did get a nice frog today so that's pretty cool um we did find a few good things I, i'm not gonna lie so That'll be probably pretty good. Alright guys, so we just got back to the truck. There's a beautiful F-250 right there. So nice. Um, it was an alright day. I mean, not the best for Waiters Adventures. We usually get way more things. I think people are starting to, you know, kind of not fish as much. It's getting kind of fall, kind of colder, you know, fishing. slower fishing. So, it wasn't the best. It was alright. We had a great time. Pierce Pierce fell in yet again. So, you know what? it was all right. We're probably gonna fall in every episode. Yeah. Um, so the next video, I wanna do another boat video, just to kind of, I'm kind of getting more used to things as you guys can probably tell through this video. This video is way better than my first one. But uh, I hope you guys like what you saw today. And uh, I'm probably gonna do either boating or taking the boat out to like, live, maybe, maybe Joe Pool Lake or something and then, uh, Maybe a kayaking video. Uh, just tell me what you guys think. I mean, uh, next week I will definitely, next weekend I will definitely have a racing video up. So that one should be pretty fun. Uh, I'm gonna try and maybe get another GoPro. So we can maybe have GoPro on both mine, Pierce's and William's cart. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I hope you guys like what you enjoyed or enjoyed what you saw today. And uh, you know, I guess we'll, we'll see you at the next one. We'll so. see you next time. I can't wait to see where the next next adventure goes and uh, we'll see you guys at the next one.